Hello, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and in this video I wanted to show you the Atlas II mount. This is an improvement over our original Atlas. Um, so it's got some new features, uh, some existing features that are the same. So let's go through some of the details and uh, show you what this mount is all about. Uh, the first thing to tell you is that it's a very large equatorial mount designed to carry very big, heavy equipment uh, designed for long exposure astrophotography or visual just tracking along very solidly. This thing weighs a lot. It does not move. It's very rigid. So there's no flex. There's no vibration. It's a, a very solid mount for big equipment. First of all, the weight capacity. So the original Atlas held 40 pounds. This has been increased a little bit uh, to 44 pounds for the Atlas II. So you get about a 10% uh, gain in carry capacity. Uh, and the other big thing um, about the uh, the internal gearing of this is it uses a belt drive. The, the motor is connected to the worm via a belt instead of a spur gear. So what that means is you get uh, quieter operation, you get uh, smoother operation, there's less periodic error, uh, and just an overall better guiding experience. If you look on the front panel here, you'll see many of the same uh, familiar uh, plugs and jacks. Uh, you've got the hand controller jack that goes to the SynScan uh, controller that uh, uh, gives you a database of 42,000 plus, a little bit more than 42,000 objects in the database to go look for. Uh, it's got the Otter Guider port. The power port has been upgraded to uh, include a thread on um, sleeve. So your power uh, cord that comes included, it's a cigarette lighter plug, it threads on. So you don't run the risk of uh, pulling it out in case you trip over it or um, uh, it, it binds up uh, on the mount. So a thread on sleeve is a, is a handy thing to have. Uh, the other thing that you probably notice is that there's a USB port now. So gone are the days where this had a serial port attached to it because computers nowadays really don't include serial. So you don't need to get a serial to USB adapter. Just plug a, a, a USB uh, cable in and then you can upgrade the firmware. You can control the mount via third-party applications. And then if you look right down over here, there's a snap cable port. Uh, certain Canon cameras are compatible with this mount, so you can plug the camera into the mount and then control the shutter via the uh, hand controller. Moving further down the mount, uh, you'll probably notice this big handle here. Uh, this is a nice uh, uh, upgrade from the original one. It's an easy place to grab onto when you're uh, putting the head on top of the tripod or when you're taking it off and putting it away in your uh, uh, in your bag or your accessory case, whatever you're using for it. So a nice large carry handle included now with the Atlas II. Further down, there are very robust latitude and um, uh, uh, azimuth adjustment knobs. You can see a very large spring-loaded uh, latitude bolt on the back, on the same thing on the front, and then it uses these same knobs for the uh, azimuth left and right. The original ones were thinner, a little bit harder to grab onto and kind of move with any kind of force. So these new robust uh, knobs make it easier to polar align. On the back here is an included polar alignment scope. It's hiding underneath this cap. Um, and this is just a little touch, but this, this cap is much nicer. Uh, the, the original cap, you thread it on, and it was always kind of difficult because the threads are fairly fine. So now it's just a, a slip fit with a little set screw that pinches down onto a little dovetail. So uh, a minor thing, but a nice, uh, a nice addition. Uh, but underneath, the polar alignment scope uh, works for northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere to get very accurate polar alignment. Other features on the mount, um, the, the dovetail system, um, like the old Atlas, this is a dual uh, head. So you can attach the narrow, which is the Vixen style rail, or the wide, which is the Lozmandi uh, style rail. Either one clamp in here, and you've got two nice large thumb uh, knobs to clamp it down solidly. Uh, on the bottom here, you've got two counterweights. It's uh, two 11 and a half pound counterweights included with the uh, mount. And there's actually an extension for the counterweight shaft. Uh, I forget exactly how long it is, but it gives you another couple of inches in case you needed to counterbalance something even heavier, but you didn't want to have to buy another expensive counterweight. Just slide the counterweights further down the shaft and you're balanced. Uh, the Atlas head sits on top of a very solid uh, stainless steel tripod. Uh, in between the uh, tripod legs is the accessory tray. There are spots for two inch and inch and a quarter eyepieces. So I mentioned power. It's this thread on um, uh, uh, DC power jack here. It comes with a DC uh, cable. You're going to plug that into some DC source, a, a 12 volt battery, uh, an AC to DC uh, inverter to plug it into the wall. Uh, the mount itself takes four amps of power, so it's important that your AC to DC adapter, if you're plugging this into the wall, is at minimum 4 amps. We sell a 5 amp AC to DC inverter, and that's perfect for uh, the Atlas II. 
All right, well, there you have it. This is the Atlas II, a very nice upgrade from the original Atlas. More capacity, uh, belt drives, uh, USB port as well. Um, it will hold up to 44 pounds of equipment, so anything you can think to put on top of this to do uh, deep sky astrophotography or high power planetary viewing, it'll work great. All right, thank you very much. Clear skies.